here. Hey guys. All right, hopefully we'll get some viewers in. How's Maybe. everybody doing? Maybe some hearts. Some hearts. We need some hearts. Exactly. Double chin. Here. Look. Oh, stop. You don't oh, start double chin. <laughs> you do not. No, but it depends on how you angle. I know. Yeah. I look, feel like when I look to the side. Okay, yeah, which is too. my, this is my better That's, side. <laughs> we all have a better side. I do believe that. Yes. I think we do. I think we do. So today we're going to talk about goals for 2016 what your plans are. I have had a back issue, sciatica issue for, um, okay, I'm gonna hold it up like this, right, for, so God, like two weeks now. Is that okay? Yeah, and I feel like yeah. people can't see. Um, and it's awful. And I don't understand, I have friends that just, they don't work out. And I don't understand how you cannot work out. How you can't, like you don't wanna go to the gym. That just astounds me. I don't wanna I, go to the gym. I love to go to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. I love it. I don't like to work out. I work out, but I don't like it. Really? Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Like I live for When I'm done, I like it. Yeah. So when you're done, you like it, but you don't like to do it. I don't go, yes, I'm going to go work out. I know. I, I love it. And I'm bummed because I haven't been able to go to boot camp. I haven't been able to run. I have been just confined to a couch and that is not a Lisa. So I'm used to going, going, going. So today we're going to talk about goals. Um, you have some essential oils that you want to discuss. So, yeah, tell goals. me what you do with them. Oh, you want essential oils? Okay. Or goals? Oil. Yeah, let's do goals. Uh, goals. 2016. <clears throat> um, I am learning. I'm going to continue this, my goal is living every day to the fullest. Mm -hmm. And I know that sounds trite and kind of um, cliche, but I think sometimes with Things that happen in your life, whether it's death or relationships or children that go through difficult times, I think sometimes we get so wrapped up in our pain and our difficulties and our stress that we forget that there is joy in every moment. And I think the other day I read, um, life is just full of tiny moments. Mm -hmm. And if you have the mindfulness and you really appreciate and live each one of those moments, even if you're in pain, and you acknowledge that pain and you acknowledge that sadness, but you live each each of those moments as best you can. So really it's about making each of those small moments as best you can. And it's trite and I know it's cliche, but I think that we can get really stressed out and we forget that every second is one less second we're alive. And so we have to we have to appreciate it. So those are my goals. So my goal, yeah. And I Oh and I'm running a half marathon. Right. And I plan on running three. But I would love to take like friends like Rebecca and go like hike a mountain or do something and do a girls yes. weekend away and yes. just you know really push ourselves and we have such a great running group we always ask each other okay what are your goals for 2016 what are you doing and it's great to have friends that are active so if you have friends that are not and you're not why don't you ask them and say hey why don't we get active together and maybe do a 5K or you can walk it. Nobody says you have to run a marathon or a half marathon. No. You, know, you can, 20 minutes of walking a day is absolutely fine for you. Um, anything that gets your heart rate up and just gets those endorphins going. Um, but have a friend because misery loves company. Yep. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> so I always... Pick friends and say, hey, let's do yeah, this and it's together. A, it's accountability, too. You it have is. someone that knows you have to show up, you're going to do it. Right. So, right. And all right. Ready? Go. All right. So I have some essential oils from Young Living, and I'm not partial to any of the companies out there, but I do know, and I have read, and I don't want to get in this debate, because if you put this on Facebook, everyone will debate who has the most organic, the most true, the best, which yeah. ones have toxins. I didn't do a whole lot of research on Young Living, and if so, if there are things in it that aren't perfect, I don't know, but I do know that if you're buying essential oils and you're not spending a lot of money on them, then they're probably not really essential oils. Mm -hmm. So this is called the Feelings Kit. So you have the inner child, you have forgiveness, harmony, and then there is valor and present time, so sort of being in the moment. And each of these are a blend of different oils that, that have you work on those emotions or those feelings. And then I have another one from a different company called Melaleuca, and this is a vapor one. So this kind of, you think of Vicks Vapor, this you can mm -hmm. put in your diffuser and it'll help for colds and things like that. Um, I'm a firm believer that essential oils are great for anxiety. Yeah, great. Um, 
just there are all kinds of cures, I guess. Um, I kind of stay away from believing they're, you know, they're, they're the cure-all, but at the same time, I think they're a good go-to. Um, they've really helped me. I've got one that is like a roll-on. You can put it on your wrists, and it helps with calming you down. Uh, so those two, and that one's uh, a different company. But uh, like I said, when you buy your oils, you know if you're spending not a lot of money on them, you're probably not getting pure essential oils. So you do want to be careful about the ingredients that's in there. And you also want to be careful if they tell you to ingest them or putting it on your skin. Um, just be careful of your sensitivities. Yeah, and I think a lot of them are so pure you can eat them, right? Like so, and, and them again, in. you have to be really careful. Then right. You need to do your research and make sure you know what you're doing. Right. I think I have, I have a kit from doTERRA, I think is the name of it, and there's peppermint oils and oils in there and I think you can even eat the peppermint oil or put it in uh, recipes and whatnot. But you have to make sure and find out from your representative, whoever you buy it from, you know, you have, like Rebecca said, you have to do your research on it. So yeah, we love them. I even put them in, what is that, like a diffuser that mm -hmm. you put them in yeah. and it blows it out and it, your house smells like a spa. So that's, <laughs> love it. Um, so we're going to talk about technical gear since we were talking about um, goals. And one thing that I'm really, I tell people when you start to work out, don't work out in cotton. No, nope, right? No cotton. You have to get rid of all those, you know, cotton shirts that you have. We get the ugly cotton shirts sometimes when you sign up for a 5K and they don't want it to give you <laughs> a technical shirt. And I throw them right out or I give them to Goodwill because you should not work out in cotton. Cotton sticks to your body. It doesn't, it it absorbs the sweat and then it clings to you and it makes you cold. Whereas when you have a technical fabric like this, I got this from Rambling Rose and this is when I did a triathlon. This type of material, it, it gets wet, but it doesn't <coughs> stick to you. And it dries so that you're not freezing after you're done. Or if you're hot, you're not, um, you're not overheated. Cotton will overheat you. So make sure that you go through um, even if you buy like one or two pieces, just to get you started, it's fine. Wash it and then hang it up to dry. You don't want to stick them in the dryer. Have a good sports bra. I really love good it's really good. Bra. This is a skirt sports bra, and I love it because it has Velcro, so you can adjust it with the Velcro. Um, it really holds, you know, bind your breasts because when you bounce, you have a ligament right here that if you um, break that ligament, it's done. It's never coming back, no matter what you do. And as we age, that's why our breasts fall and fall and fall, because that ligament isn't isn't tight. So make sure that you have a really, really good sports bra. Some There's, people wear two. They do. And, and, but if you have a good one and you spend 50, 60 yeah, bucks on one, yeah, they're you, about don't, $65. Yeah, you don't need yep. to. So skirt sports, there is, is it modern? Wait. Moving Comfort is another great one um, that I've used. But go to a local running store like Fleet Feet. Um, trying to think who else is in Omega Sports. There, I think, all you over the place. You could get some good ones at Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah, Dick's I mean, Sporting Goods. But you're going to pay somewhere ones. between 50 and 45 and $65 right. for a good sports bar. Easily, easily. And so, you, you know, if you want to hand wash them yep. every time you use it so you're not... You know they last yep. longer. You can do that as well. Yeah, but you definitely uh, one one tip about um, sports gear that I learned the hard way is that um, they will go rancid very quickly if you don't air them out correctly. <laughs> yeah, they will. So they get kind of funky that funky mm -hmm. smell. So just make sure that if you get them out of the dryer really quick or the washer really quickly and hang them up quickly because mm -hmm. they do they, they will, have and, a then, and then that smell doesn't really go away. No, so, and it's and it's. Yeah, and then you need to start, once you really start getting into um, working out and working out heavily, then you can use special, I use like wind um, detergent, which is a special mm -hmm. detergent that you use on your clothes um, to get that smell out. Because it's not, it's, it's the fabric that ends up smelling. Yeah. Um, and so we wash and then line dry everything. So that's it. That's it. So we'll right, be back challenges, um, it goes back to our holiday challenge. Um, keep in mind that not everybody has loved ones in the holiday right. and some people have maybe lost or maybe someone's in the hospital or they're going through something. So mm -hmm. just reach out and just, you know, it's not about presents, it's about kindness. Mm -hmm. So just be kind to people. It is. It's a, it's a very, I, I look and it's just everybody wants you to buy, 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 buy. And it's not about that. It's, it's about being with family, being with friends, we do a huge, and I don't know if you and Aaron um, want to join us on Christmas Eve night, but we do a huge sushi dinner 
Um, and we probably have 25 people <laughs> that come out for sushi with us. And we all get together and drink and eat. And it's wonderful. And it's Christmas Eve night. And we've been doing this tradition for like 15 years now. So um, it's the little things. It's, it's the traditions. And it's just getting together with family. It's not so much buying things. So we wish you all um, happy holidays. We'll be back all right, soon. Cheers. Bye.